So anyway, hello everybody. Hang on, let me lift it up. There we go. Ernie said that she wanted to replant one of her squashes. Let me show them. See this guy? Look at that little thing in there. Hang on, let me close in on it. But yeah, it's going way past the little thingy that we set up for it to climb. Yes, okay, so now that you guys know why why we're doing this, um, she wanted uh, a bigger container to put it in, something that would allow it to climb and and maybe uh, spread out some. Uh, hey, the fall is coming. Yeah, and wouldn't you know, as soon as I get this started, it starts to rain. So we've been waiting on uh, on the rain pretty much all day. We knew it was coming. Uh, so yeah, I think the camera probably needs to move. I shall move it. So. Right after these announcements. After these words from our sponsors. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's about the middle. We'll make another cut. They're pretty much pretty much even so so wow. wow you're almost as tall as the pecan trees that someone sent us yep If it comes down to it, I've got uh, I got a second hula hoop there that we could always use. And now that you are under the porch, the rain has stopped. Of course, that's pretty much how it always works. Yeah. Yes. That's good. Mm -hmm. Get away from here, wasp. She's looking really? for somewhere to lay some eggs. Well, this ain't the place. Get out of here. Hey, hey, nature's creatures. Nature's creatures need to go back to nature. She wants to know really? what you're doing. Uh-huh. Get out of here. <laughs> you're about to do the stick thing with the hula hoop. <laughs> I do you were anti wasp. Okay, so what I'm doing is two holes at the bottom here on the corner, two holes higher up on the corner, and then when I put my rebar on the other side, I can just put my zip tie through there, tie the rebar to the basket, and then I can put my hoop 
on top of the rebar. So now you can use, you don't have to use rebar, any kind of uh, stick or post or whatever will work. Instead of poking through the fabric, it's just pushing the fabric out. It's a long way arch. Yeah. Yeah. And the arch will be taller if it goes the other way. Oh my goodness! And look, the little ridges that you have here. So They'll make the zip ties. I could do it that stay. way, crossed, or I could do it the other way. I like it long ways because it's going to sit long ways in the bed. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do now is basically the final steps of attaching the chicken wire to this miniature hoop uh, house, if that's what you want to call it. All my stuff's in here getting wet. Looks like a time machine and that squash is like the, the plant invader from outer space. What it looks like. No, I don't remember that movie apparently. It looked what well, okay, the time machine didn't have a planet invader from outer space, but the time machine, this is what that looked like. Or some weird covered wagon that's kind of psychedelic. Uh, I would say that it looks like a psychedelic covered wagon, yes. I guess. Well, I would suggest not grabbing it by the handles because you'll cut yourself with chicken wire. I will? Yeah, the chicken wire is What if the, I go from the sides? Well, that's not the handles. 